Hello everyone, welcome back to FD and today I'm going to show you how to download mods for T-Launcher. Now this is actually very simple to do and if you want to know how to do it for Fabric, I will leave a link in the description down below, also maybe a link on the screen as well if you want to do it for that. Today I am doing it for Forage. So the first thing I want to do is come to this website just here, I will leave a link in the description down below. So simply from here what we're going to want to do is it's actually come over to the side, make sure we select the Minecraft version we want for our mods. Now for me I'm going to be doing it for the newest version of Minecraft, which is this one just here, Minecraft 1.21.1, I'm going to select that. Now this will change the page just like this. Then from here, you can select on the installer just here, so click on that. Now this will take five seconds to download, and if you do see any ads in here, don't click them, just wait for over here for it to say skip. So we'll click on skip just there, and now that is downloaded. Now get rid of this page, you don't need that page no more. We're also going to want to install mods as well, so we can play on mods. So I will leave another link in the description down below to Curse Forage. So simply from here, just scroll down and select on Forage just here. And also your game version just here. So select whatever game version you are using. For me, it's this one just here, 1.21.1. Select that. Now we can select any mods we want in here that we can play uh, with our friends or on our own for Minecraft. So simply just come through here, have a look at any mod you want to play or even search for mods if you want to do that as well. So for me, I'm going to select this one just here, just enough items, and I'm going to select on this one here. Now from in here, click on Files, and then just scroll down, and as we can see just here, we can see the versions. What we need to look for is actually the Forage one. So over here we can see Forage. So this is the one we want just here, 1.21.1. Now select on the three little dots, then click on Download File. Now again, we will have to wait five seconds for this to download, and just wait, don't have to click anything, and there we go, it's now starting to download. So now what we're going to want to do is actually head over to our downloads folder. So here's my downloads folder. I'm now going to drag these two files onto my desktop, just like that. Close the downloads folder out of the way. Now a very important step is, make sure you do have Java installed. So if you don't see these coffee mugs here, so as you can see these have got coffee mugs in here. If you don't see this, this could mean you don't have uh, Java installed. So if you don't have Java installed, be sure to download it. I will leave a link in the description down below and also on the screen to a video I made on how to actually get Java. So be sure to check that out before you go any further. Now if you do have Java installed and don't see these coffee mugs, simply just right click in here, then click on open with, then click on Java, or you can just double click on this file if you can see the coffee mugs in here. So just click on these files just here. Now the first one we just clicked on here is the Forage installer. So make sure you do this one first. So the Forage installer is the one we actually want to do. So we need to do this first before we actually install our mod. So make sure you do this one first, the Forage installer, then this little menu here will pop up, then click on OK down here, so click on that. Now this will install Forage for us. Now this shouldn't take too long, maybe about a minute or so for this to actually install. So there we go, it is now installed, click on OK. Now we can actually get rid of this file here, we do not need that anymore. Now what we're going to want to do is actually install our mod. So this is the mod we just downloaded, so just enough items mod just there. So simply to install this, what we're going to want to do is actually head down to our search down here, then type in Run. So simply like that, run, then click on this button just here, so click on run. And down here we can see that we've got this new little menu down here. Now in here, simply just type in the percent app data percent and click on OK. Now this will load up this file just here. Now in here, what we're going to want to look for is actually the dot .minecraft. So double click into dot .minecraft. And in here, look for our mods folder. So double click into the mods folder. Now simply just drag in your mod into the mods folder, just like that. Now what we're going to want to do is close down this, and now what you're going to want to do is load up your T launcher. Now in the menu, what you're going to want to do is make sure you've got Forage selected in your game versions. Now once you've got Forage selected in your game versions, then click on play or run the game. Now I'm going to show you how to do this for the actual Minecraft launcher. So down here, we can see we've got Forage. Just make sure that is selected, and then click on play just here. So that is what you have to do in T launcher. I know the layout looks a little bit different, but just find your versions down here in the corner. Then make sure it's got selected on Forage, and then click on your Run Your Game or Play. I can't quite remember what it says to run the game up, but just select on that, and then from there, your mod should work. So I'm actually going to run my game here, and click on I Understand the Risks, and click on Play. And now we will see if the mods are working. Now once your Minecraft's loading up, you might see this menu just like this one. And if you do, this means everything should be all working perfectly fine. So we are now in our Minecraft and we can see we've got the mods here. And in here we can see over here that we've got our Just Enough Items mod installed. So that is great. Mods are all working perfectly fine. Now if you do have any problems at all, be sure to check out my Discord. I should be able to help you out in there. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all in my next video.